Lines are starting to let up at John Prince Park, which has been packed with people the last two days. Food for Florida is set up there, giving out food stamps to people who lost power and their food due to Hurricane Irma. News Channel 5's Amy Littman is live now to describe how it all went today. Amy? Well, I was told by 1 o'clock today, more than 4,000 people had been through the white tents that are back there behind me, where the Department of Children and Families is giving out food stamps to people who need them after Irma. PBSO says traffic flow was much better today, even though more people came by to get help. Among the organized chaos of food for Florida at John Prince Park. It's not because any problem, it's because there is so much people. There's also help. We really need it, and it's a lot of other people that they need it too. Bennett Barrios went five days without power after Hurricane Irma. I have to throw my, my meat, my poultry, um, food that I cooked before. So spending several hours waiting for disaster food assistance is worth it to get caught up again. We're still, you know, working on it. It's hard. Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office has various units directing cars into John Prince Park today, improving traffic flow over yesterday. Deputies on horseback worked crowd control. The organization and the everything, I, I, I'm grateful. I can't say anything bad. This way, follow the yellow tape. People are then guided around the park into lines. Water, water, water. Where Palm Beach County Parks and Recreation handed out water to thirsty people. They gave us water and they cared for us, so I'm really grateful. They filled out applications and then waited in line for the help they've been waiting weeks to get, coming in the form of EBT cards. We Americans, we got somebody here who cared for us. This Food for Florida site closes shortly, even though you can still see there are some long lines back there, but people should not try coming by now. They can wait until tomorrow morning when the site opens again at 7 a.m. Reporting live in Palm Beach County, Amy Littman, WPTV News Channel 5.